What about um, Lee Murray? Yeah. He ever spoke to him still, was it? Yeah, I talked to him. Well, not, not talk to him. Yeah. But yeah, he's trying to get out now. So if the president, oh, what's his name? That Mohammed, the, um, what do they have? They have princes and stuff, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The king, if the king, Mohammed, hopefully he releases him soon. And yeah. so he can go back to his family and his kids, you know what I mean? And how many years has Lee done now? Bloody hell, <clears throat> since 2005, isn't it? 15. I was 15, yeah. 2005. Because yeah. I know you were th talking on... Everyone else is basically out. Mm -hmm. So why is he not out? Much was it they took? Huh? Much was it they took? 53 mil on it. Cash. I imagine that, bro. I would have fucking gone mad. They came in your pants, mate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you imagine? 53 million pound in cash. And I had to leave a lot behind. Literally. Millions, wasn't it? Like, I think I found like 20 mil straight away, didn't mm -hmm. I? But he needs to be freed, like it's been way too long. The king of Morocco needs to free him. Like it just it's been way he's just going over the top now. He served all these years, do you know what I mean? It's over ten years. Like he needs to go between his kids. His kids were babies when he got arrested and went to prison. Now they're fully grown like adults, do you know what I mean? Like he's done his time. Let him go home. Why did they keep him? Why is he in Morocco? Why is he still there? Can he not get extra? Because his dad was Moroccan, so he got oh, the citizenship. So it was. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I remember watching the documentaries because you'd posted something that people were making videos. I watched those videos. What? You were sending traffic towards that. Just about his life. Somebody had made up videos about it and put it together it was just a few weeks ago. The UFC one. Yeah. So basically what they've done, they're just chatting shit on his life. It's just people trying to get famous off his <clears> name. <throat> like, and just done this thing with UFC, but... Let him tell that story when he gets out. Let him and his family have that money for his story. He'll tell his story in his time. You ain't got to go and do his story for him. So obviously, I got the call. Like, they've took the piss. They're not my mates no more. Fucking Dan post this up. Basically, we've been leaked it. It's not meant to be out. So let's fuck the UFC up and all that and post it up. So obviously, I posted it up. But the UFC must have, I don't know, my traffic must have went mad because... UFC posted up literally an hour later and they weren't meant to post it up for a week. So they must have been fucking... Yeah, I, thought, I watched that. <laughs> literally straight away. That's but a was, fucking oh, mad story, oh, man. Mad. That is a mad story. Like, he will have a film in books and stuff when he mm. gets out. His like, story would be better than that because at the end of the day, you can't tell someone's story as good as someone could tell their own story. Like, you want to hear it from a horse's mouth. You don't want to hear it from the donkey in the background who's never really there. He's just a shadow. You want to hear it from the main man, which yeah. is... And in my eyes... He's the fucking gangster. He's the bad man. Do you know what I mean? Not no one else. He's the one I look up to. And he could prop a scrap. Prop I didn't realise how good a scrapper he was, mate. Until I seen some of the fights. An animal, eh? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, man. Imagine having a boxing fight of him. <laughs> Fuck that, mate. <laughs> Fuck that, mate. I'm running. It's right that bang. Yeah. The way he just rocks is just so... Like, as a kid, I used to just analyse his videos, like, over and over. He was... He is my superhero, like, no joke, I'm like 30, I'm, he is my superhero. And I used to analyse his video, analyse his video, even the way he talks, like, I'm going to smack you up, like, everything. Like, and I was like, he's a G. And then just the way he rocked, bang, bang, bang. I was just like, wow. And then when he knocked out Pele, that was just, did you watch that one? Yeah. Banged him straight out. I was like, whoa. And then obviously, not a lot of people have done good with Anderson Silva. Look how good he done. And that's the, off the back of partying and living that high life he weren't really training for that fight yeah I think he had an injury as well exactly that so imagine he would have trained properly for that fight mm -hmm. who was the guy he was fighting with in the lane Tito Ortiz yeah that big head ugly motherfucker he beat fuck out of him but he denies knocks it him. yeah he? he knocks him out he tries saying that yeah leave for a combination and I grabbed him like no bro tell the truth everyone who was there has told their story on that situation and everyone has said Mate, you went out, Lee went back, was, took his coat off, give you one, two, three, you went straight down. And I, I can't doubt it because around our area, that's what Lee done. He would go in gaffs and the bully boys, he would bang out or the bouncers, he would knock out 10, 15 of them. Like we know this, like people in my area, do you know what I mean? So I don't doubt that. Tito also, he's absolutely got spanked. Do you think he'll get out? Who, Lee? Yeah. He has to. He has to at one stage, do you know what I mean? Everyone serves their time. Like that saying, it, you, um, you can lock the locks, but you can't stop the clocks. Mm -hmm. So his time's got to come at one stage or another. Like he's, he is a reformed character now, he's a Muslim. He's like 
doing the good things, do you know what I mean, for his life and his family. He's, he's like, from when I speak to him from now to 10 years ago, he seems like a total different person. When I'm saying about this and that, he's like, nah, nah, like, you've got to do it this way, bro. Like, totally different. Like, he don't agree with everything I do. Do you know what I mean? He tells me straight. I don't got... think any, anybody does, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But do you think he sees a bit of, when he was that age as well, Zero Fox Given? That... Yeah, he says to me all the time, he said that if there was anyone, like, he said before, saying, he said that there'll never be another him. But he said that he sees me in him, like bits of me in him. He said, you're just a ruthless little cunt. Like, you literally will start. But what happened before? I chinned one of his mates and he rung me up. He's like, fuck's sake, what's wrong with you, bro? I was like, what? And he was like, you're fucking chinning everyone, bro. Just slow down, mate. You're worse than me. But that was his mate's own fault anyway. What's it like in the, the jails in Morocco? Are they cushy or what? Or are they just brutal? Well, they was. He was, he was in Rabbit. And that was actually proper sick. Like it was like six man um, bump beds. Like he had air parcels, like food and stuff. Like it was good. He was training. He was looking healthy. But then obviously something happened. I don't really know. I've only read the stories about it. That he got caught with stuff or something. Got or someone put something in a cell or someone someone done something or reported something. And then he got moved to security. And now he's in a block. And it's just it's horrible. Like. For two years, I think now he's in the block. He can only make one phone call a week to his family every Friday. Fucking disgusting the way they're treating him. That honestly, it's a joke. How have they not made like, a petition and stuff here? Who what what yeah. like, what like us? That, yeah, no, just let people eye to try and get him out. I don't know because they don't really listen. But that is actually a good idea. Why why, why not? Why shouldn't we? That's sixteen years, isn't it? Not I'm to not. get killed or nothing like that. Nothing. Harmed. Straight in, man. Fifty six mile. I know. Imagine it. But that's actually a good idea. We should do a petition. I'm actually going to ring your sister after. Yeah, you create enough noise and then it, people eventually start to listen. Yeah, of course. But a lot of people's got their cases overturned after after spending 20 years because people are creating noise and they just go, do you know what, it's too much of a fucking this headache, man. Just get them to fuck. But I want his story, mate. <laughs> his story's going to be a good story. I'll get him straight away. I'll be like, yeah. James yeah. English. Why do you think I'm nice to you, mate? <laughs> really, I, I don't want to fuck you, do you? Up, says, that, he's a prick, that daddy, man. <laughs> he's connected to Lee Money, mate, so just butter him up, mate. <laughs> Give his kid money, mate. Just he's like good guy phoning you when you're depressed. This can't be fucked to you, mate. I just want Lee's story. Just want Lee's story. <laughs> fuck Simpson, I shot Lee. <laughs> oh, yes. No, but what a story. I didn't realise the in-depth. It was actually until you shared that story, I thought, fuck me, like, he's a proper, proper scrapper, man, as well. Batman Batman case, story, isn't it? Ripped, shredded. Shredded. And he's just like, that was, hit. like, what you see on the internet is not even 20% Lee Murray. Like, yeah, he's in the cage fights, he's having Anna Silva's, the Pele's, the fucking, what's that geezer that went out of Jordan, the, the dresses like a woman? Alex Reed. Yeah, that div. Um, them, but then... Him on the street was the eight, the other eighty percent. He was a total different animal. Like there's no other way to describe him. Like having road rage, getting snatched, banging bods, like bang, bang, bang. Like he was just not kiss. A law to himself, like literally Lee Murray law. How good do you think he would have been if he put hundred percent focus what, cage fight? To, to cage fighting? He would have. He would have been world champion. One hundred percent. Michael Biskin got world champion. Lee Murray would have smacked the shit out of Michael Biskin. One hundred percent. Yeah. Like, and that's not even a joke. Michael Bisping knows it as well. Like, Lee Murray was a false. If Obviously, don't forget the stabbing happened as well. But if he would have just been a fighter, sky was the limit for him. Like, literally, you've seen him fight. He was just an yeah, animal. An animal. Like, and he could move. Exactly. And even people were saying, oh, he's only a banger, he's only a banger. But if you look at his UFC fight, he won on the floor. So he was learning that. He was doing good at that. Yeah. You can't just go into UFC as a novice on the ground and then beat a grand fighter with the rear naked choke. Like, not rear naked choke, what was it? I forgot the name of the choke he done. But yeah, winning by obviously submissions, right? I mean?